That guy's blink is actual crack. I don't understand. Do you like grenades? Do you want to learn about grenades? What are grenades? Well, I went to Ikora and what I found was very insightful. Make things go boom. Thank you, Bungie. That's very descriptive. That really tells me a lot about this video game. I fu- Hello everyone, it's Elbone here, and welcome back to Destiny Deconstructed, a series in which I break down the stats and numbers behind build crafting because Bungie refuses to put them in the game. Okay, so Bungie's description of a grenade is make things go boom, but what does that actually mean? No, like, like really, what, what does that actually mean? In short, grenades are a subset of abilities you can infinitely use that come back after a set period of time. This recharge time between grenades is called its cooldown. I'll cover the cooldowns in a bit, but first I'm going to kick it to my good friend and fellow Destiny connoisseur, Cody, to showcase how each of these grenades work. Hi, my name is Cody, or the Codester, and I'm a professional Destiny addict with over 8,000 hours in Destiny 2 because I have self-control issues. So, grenades in Destiny 2. They're probably one of the strongest things in the game by a landslide, and pretty much have been since D1 even. Starting with Arc, we have the Lightning Grenade. The Lightning Grenade is a spike you throw that can stick to any surface, but not enemies. And it will shoot four bursts of lightning bolts in a cone from the end not sticking to the surface. This cone grows wider as it goes further away from the Lightning Grenade, going 12 meters long and 10 meters wide. The initial damage being 120 and ramping up to 480 over the 6 second duration. The Flux Grenade is the closest thing to a skill shot in Destiny 2 aside from Breach Load Grenade Launchers. It's also one of my personal favorite grenades. It has little to no tracking, but is thrown pretty fast and relatively far, especially with fastball, and does one of the highest burst damages of any of the grenades in the game. Once thrown, it sticks to any target, any wall, any ceiling, surface, allies for a 1.7 second delay and explodes for 250 damage close to the grenade with damage falling off 8 meters away from the grenade. This grenade is only really used when someone has Shinobu's Vow equipped. It's the Skip Grenade, which the name pretty much explains what it does. Like skipping a rock on a pond, when you throw the Skip Grenade, it will bounce off the first surface the Skip Grenade touches and then split into four seeking projectiles that deal 15 explosive damage and 8 impact damage per projectile, respectively. This adds up to a total of 92 damage. This grenade is kind of a community favorite for its pretty high total damage and uptime, being the Pulse Grenade. When thrown, the Pulse Grenade will travel until it hits any surface or enemy and will expand into an electric ball with pulses for damage 6 times. The impact damage from this expansion is 50, while each pulse does 80 damage leading to a total of 530 damage over 4 seconds. This grenade either fills you with dread or joy, the Storm Grenade something that broke PvP and PvE once Arc Titan was reworked, and for good reason. Even after nurse to the grenade and Titan aspect, Storm Grenades are still very potent AoE and decent total damage in both PvP and PvE. When thrown, the Storm Grenade will travel until it hits any surface or enemy and will summon a Storm Cloud above the impacted area or target. After 1.2 seconds and a wee bit of rumbling thunder, the Storm Cloud will send down two bursts of lightning in a 5 meter radius, first burst dealing 70 damage and 50 on the second burst leading to a total of 120 damage. The one PvP players are only lucky raspberry enthusiasts use, the Arc Bolt Grenade. When thrown, the Arc Bolt Grenade will travel until it hits any surface, then it will scan an 8 meter radius around the area where it impacts with an Arc Wave. When this Arc Wave hits the closest enemy, it will chain a total of 85 damage up to 3 targets. Sadly, chains can't damage an enemy that's already gotten hit by an Arc Bolt Grenade chain. Flashbang Grenade is pretty self-explanatory if you know what one is in real life. When thrown, the Flashbang Grenade will bounce off of surfaces and then settle. After a short time, the Flashbang Grenade explodes, dealing 120 damage closest to the grenade, with damage fall off 8 meters away from the grenade. Also, all enemies in this 8 meter radius will be blinded for 3 seconds in PvP and 5 seconds in PvE. This blind will prevent rank and file and most major enemies from attacking and also stun unstoppable champions. When beginning to talk about grenades in the Solar subclass, I think the, well, the most fitting place to start is the Solar Grenade. The Solar Grenade, when thrown, will travel until it hits any surface or enemy, and similar to the Pulse Grenade, will expand into a miniature sun. This sun does an impact damage of 20, and applies 11 Scorch stacks, and continues to burn with 25 damage every 0.3 seconds for a total of 13 procs over 4 seconds. 
During these four seconds, the Solar Grenade will apply nine Scorch Stacks for every second the enemy was inside the five meter AoE. The total damage of all of this is 352, with 47 stacks of Scorch being applied to the enemy. The Thermite Grenade, also known as the original Waveframe. The Thermite Grenade, when thrown, will travel until it hits any floor, in which after it will pulse out three waves of Thermite in front of it over four seconds. These waves range out to a whopping 25 meters. These waves do 79 damage per wave and apply 10 Scorch, leading to a total of 237 damage and 30 Scorch stacks. The Trip Mine Grenade, which I'm sure you've all faced a young Amkar's Mine user in the Crucible since it's so potent, the Trip Mine Grenade is similar to the Lightning Grenade and the Spike Grenade, which I will talk about later. In terms of being able to stick to any surface, except the Trip Mine Grenade is unique and can stick to enemies as well and do full damage. When thrown, the Trip Mine Grenade will stick to any surface and pulse out a red cone from the side that is not sticking to the wall or enemy, and make a sound every few seconds. When stuck to the enemy, or an enemy comes within the cone radius, that sound will turn higher pitched and the Trip Mine Grenade will explode into its 10 meter long, 7 meter wide cone for 140 damage. It also applies 40 Scorch stacks on hit. Note that the Trip Mine Grenade will also sit primed waiting for a target to walk in front of it for 10 seconds on a surface and will explode immediately if attached to an enemy. Incendiary Grenade is basically Flashbang Grenade but with Scorch instead of Blind. When you throw the Incendiary Grenade, it will bounce off of surfaces and settle. After, it will explode, dealing 130 damage closest to the Incendiary Grenade, with damage fall off out to 8.25 meters, a whole 0.25 meters more than the flashbang, woohoo! This grenade will also apply 60 Scorch Stacks, one of the highest of all the Solar Grenades. Fun note about it, as well, is that it deals 33% increased damage if it occurs within half a meter of an enemy. Swarm Grenade is basically, well, Wolfpack rounds the grenade. When Swarm Grenade is thrown, it flies until it impacts a surface or enemy, which it will then split into nine drones. These nine drones deal two instances of eight damage each and apply five Scorch Stacks each as well. This adds up to a total of 144 damage and 45 Scorch Stacks. Healing Grenades are the main support tool for your allies in Destiny 2, and for good reason, since they're pretty good. When you throw a healing grenade, one, it will lightly seek allies, sometimes it can overshoot because of this though, so keep that in mind. Second, when it impacts a surface or ally, it will create a white translucent orb that can be picked up by any allied guardians that last 7.5 seconds. When it impacts, it also applies cure times one within a 7.5 meter radius. The orb grants restoration times one for four seconds. Interesting fact, did you know the orb has an HP bar and can actually be destroyed? I didn't until spending time writing the script until 4am. God, I hate my life. Starfire Protocol was a meta in Destiny 2, alright? And it all surrounded this grenade type. Even before the Starfire Protocol meta, and Destiny 2 in general, fusion grenades were a staple in Destiny 1 for their decent cooldown, high burst damage, and decent AoE, and pretty solid tracking to boot. When the fusion grenade is thrown, it will stick to any surface or enemy, and after a certain amount of time, it will explode in a 6 meter radius for 130 damage and apply 40 Scorch Stacks. Firebolt grenades are basically fire arc bolt grenades. When throwing a firebolt grenade, it will fly through the air until it hits a surface or enemy. When the firebolt grenade hits a surface or enemy, a ring of fire will surround the impact destination ranging 8.5 meters alongside a fireball that will shoot out bolts of fire that hit up to four enemies instead of the three the arc bolt can. Each of these bolts do 65 damage and apply 20 score stacks. Axiom bolt grenades are in a similar vein to firebolt and arc bolt, but are a little different. When throwing an Axiom Bolt Grenade, it'll fly through the air until it hits a surface or enemy. When the Axiom Bolt Grenade hits a surface or enemy, it'll create a ring of void energy around the impact destination, ranging a huge 13 meters, along with a void ball in the center that will shoot two slow-moving void projectiles, being the Axiom Bolts. These projectiles will track and keep falling even after the grenade is over until they go out of range, hit an obstacle like a wall, or are shot and destroyed by the enemy the Axiom Bolt is chasing after. Each of these Axiom Bolts will do an impact damage of 2 and an explosive damage of 100. As a Void Hunter aficionado, Vortex Grenade is a personal favorite of mine. The Vortex Grenade is very similar to the Solar Grenade, but with a few more quirks. When thrown, it will fly through the air until it hits any surface or enemy, in which it will expand into a sphere of Void Energy. When the Vortex Grenade initially expands, it deals 25 damage in a 5 meter radius. After 0.8 seconds, it also pulls enemies within 5 meters towards the center of the Vortex Grenade. 
After that, it continuously ticks damage every 0.27 seconds, up to a surprisingly large 17 times in a 3.5 meter radius. The ticking damage happens over 3.2 seconds to any enemies inside of that radius. This adds up to a total damage of 285. Floyd Wall Grenade is another one of my personal favorites and almost a reverse Thermite Grenade in a strange way. When thrown, the Void Wall Grenade will fly until it hits any floor, but frankly is basically useless unless positioned correctly on the floor, and I'd recommend trying to aim right below an enemy's feet. After 0.1 seconds of hitting the floor, it deals 60 damage and creates a wall of Void Flames horizontally that's length is 10 meters. These Void Flames deal damage over time effect of 35 damage every 0.1 seconds up to 18 times. The duration of these Void Flames lasts 3.48 seconds, leading to one of the highest total damage of any of the grenades with 690. Nice. Yeah, Void Walls are actually really good and kind of slept on. Suppressor grenades are very similar in function to incendiary and flashbang grenades, with its utility leaning more towards flashbang grenades. When thrown, the suppressor grenade will travel and bounce off of any surface and settle. After a short amount of time, it will explode for 150 damage closest to the grenade with damage fall off out to 9 meters. Any enemies in that 9 meter radius are also suppressed for 5 seconds in PvP and 10 seconds in PvE. The suppression will disable any ongoing supers or abilities and disable casting them for the whole duration including regular and hive guardians. The suppression also stuns overload champions and has a side effect that's similar to blinding effects for rank and file and certain major enemies. Spike Grenade, not to be confused with Spike Grenades, the grenade launcher perk, is very similar to the Lightning Grenade and Trip Mine Grenade in a lot of aspects, but instead of pulsing lightning or an explosion lying in wait, it does something a little different. When thrown, the Spike Grenade will travel and stick to any surface it touches, in which, after a short amount of time, will shoot out a stream of void energy in an 11.5 meter long, 6 meter wide cone. This cone of void light deals 28 damage every 0.2 seconds up to 19 times. This leads to a total of 437 damage over the 4 second duration that the spike grenade lasts. Magnetic grenades are similar to fusion grenades and flux grenades, but track very aggressively and explode twice. When thrown, the magnetic grenade will stick to any surface or track very aggressively to any enemy, and after a short duration it will explode, and then after a split second it will explode again. Both these explosions range in a 5 meter radius for 75 damage each for a total of 150 damage. Scatter grenades are one of my favorite grenades, especially with nothing manacles, as they have good tracking and high damage output. When thrown, the scatter grenade will travel until it hits any surface or enemy. After the grenade lands, it will expand into 9 void drones that will seek any enemies in a 4 meter radius and explode twice. Each drone deals an instance of 20 damage on the first explosion and 16 damage on the second for a total of 288. This grenade is mostly used to troll your teammates, the Glacier Grenade. When thrown, the Glacier Grenade will travel until it hits any surface in which it will explode and summon 5 stasis crystals. These crystals will be formed in a straight line horizontally and oriented depending on what you throw it on. These crystals are 5 meters tall and 1.5 meters wide and last 15 seconds. If thrown under an enemy in PvE, these crystals will immediately shatter dealing 200 damage to regular enemies and bosses automatically shatter for 400 damage. Cold Snap Grenades, which are mostly used with Osmiomancy Gloves to spam stasis turrets, are also really good on their own. When thrown, it will stick to any floor and bounce off of ceilings and walls. Soon after, the Cold Snap will send out a wave of ice that will search for any enemies within 20 meters and freeze that target and anything within a 1.5 meter radius in PvP and 3 meter radius in PvE. This freeze lasts 1 second in PvP and 6 seconds in PvE. Freezing an enemy causes the cold snap to chain into finding another enemy to freeze. Ah, uh, Duskfield my beloved. As a renewal grass enjoyer and shatter skater, it's one of my favorite grenades with huge utility and a relatively low cooldown. When thrown, it will detonate on impact of any surface or enemy. On detonation, it will expand into a dome-like stasis field that ranges 5 meters. The detonation of the dust field will immediately apply 20 slow stacks for 2 seconds. This dome also becomes a slowing field that deals 2 damage in PvP and varies widely in PvE, it's not a lot unless you really count Shatter, and applies 5 slow stacks in PvP and 10 in PvE, each lasting 2 seconds. This damage and slow stack application happen every 0.3 seconds in PvP and every 0.35 seconds in PvE for some reason, over its 7 second duration. One of the strongest grenades to date on release, the Shackle Grenade. 
When thrown, the Shackle Grenade is a bullet that tracks lightly to enemies, and when impacting any service or enemy, will suspend anything hit initially, but will also split into a cluster of three bullets. The three bullets are sent out and will suspend anything hit by them or around them in a short AoE four meters away from the initial Shackle Grenade bullet. This suspension time will vary based on a lot of factors, but lasts five seconds by default against regular enemies, with champions only being suspended for three seconds. Also, it technically does damage, but it's like Dust Field in which it's more of a formality than anything near substantial, resulting in the main bullet doing 33 damage, kinda laughable, and the side bullet is doing an even more laughable 11. The grenade that lets you summon ghoulish little guys, the Threadling Grenade. When thrown, the Threadling Grenade will travel until it hits a surface or about 12 meters of airtime in which it will then split into three threadlings. These threadlings are similar to cold snap grenades in which they will track enemies and when in proximity will leap towards an enemy and explode. This explosion deals 40 damage each and if all three hit, it's a total of 120 damage. Grapple Grenade is one of the most unique and interesting abilities in the game because of its utility compared to its counterparts. When you throw a, I, I guess you don't really throw a grapple grenade, you more of like take an Indiana Jones style whip and you grab onto a string of reality and you swing and then you plummet into the river's souls and then you just sit there and you're just swinging and swinging and swinging. It just doesn't like stop, it's like a carousel ride like that like Nimbus never Nimbus ends. Nimbus. You, you just can't stop it, you just can't stop it, you keep screaming, I want off, I want off, help me. Help me. When grappling, you gain a decent amount of momentum and can travel pretty far. You can immediately cancel the grapple after activation and refund 50% of your grenade energy. When grappling, if you hit the melee key, you'll perform a grapple melee. Interestingly, grapple melee counts as both a melee and a grenade ability and can proc effects relating to both. When hitting a target with the grapple melee, you deal 121 damage over an apparent 3 to 5 meter radius while also unraveling enemies and pushing them back. Thank you all so much for watching, and a special thank you goes out to Cody for helping me write, test, and produce this video. If you're still watching at this point, go ahead and leave a comment on what your favorite grenade is. Personally, I've been enjoying shackle grenades with Mindspun Invocation. If this video does well, next episode I'll cover how your subclass interacts with your grenades by covering the aspects, fragments, and keywords that modify them. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and do all the other algorithm stuff. Either way, I hope to see you in the next one. Bottom text.